and we're 45, 50 minutes into it, and then we finally get to the point where, we, where we're filing down this, this, this raw material. The square is made smaller um, by going into a machine where uh, there, are, there are six planing heads. The first two planing heads cut two reference faces on the stick. Then all four faces are cut to create a uniform size. So it goes through a few stages of becoming a little smaller and a little more refined where they see some of the qualities of the wood and then eliminate some of the problem wood. When the square block transforms into the round uh, cylindrical uh, kind of stick, I thought it was very interesting. The first process in making the, uh, the square round is they put the, uh, the square into this uh, it's like a, a round plane or something that cuts it perfectly all the way around. The square is fed through the center of a cutting head, reducing the square to a dowel. After the square becomes a dowel, um, it goes through another inspection process and it goes, on, it goes through a, a physical inspection process and also they put everything on a conveyor belt and it's looked at according to weight and and straightness and anything that doesn't meet the weight and straightness criteria is is thrown out. Vic uses a laser to um, that uh, determines the straightness of the stick. A laser displacement sensor measures the distance down to a target which rests on the stick as it's rotated. As the target moves, the sensor finds the highest and lowest readings. That gives the measurement of the straightness of the dowel within thousands of an inch. Every dowel is measured for straightness and is then sorted into one of two categories. Dowels that are very warped are burned in the boiler. Dowels that fall somewhere in between proceed to an intermediate operation to be sanded to correct any issues, then are sent to grinding. Quality and the highest standards of manufacturing and design and comfort for the player using the sticks has been the prime reason for what we try to accomplish in development. The, uh, the story of, of Vic Firth drumsticks is one of those happy stories where it's just the quality keeps getting better. In, in an age when so many other things seem to be in decline, here's, uh, here's a product that uh, is as about as uh, natural and old school as can be, a wooden drumstick, and yet made to the finest uh, tolerances uh, to ensure the best possible playing experience for, for a drummer. I wish there were shortcuts, and there are, but something has to be sacrificed, and I absolutely refuse to shortcut quality. The user is, is, is guaranteed the best possible pair of drumsticks. As Dave was saying, the, the, you know, you can always try to improve uh, the efficiency of, of a manufacturing process so as to maximize the profits for a company, but he said for the life of him, he couldn't at this point think of a better way to make a drumstick, and I think he may be right. It's, it, it seems like it's, uh, it's perfection really uh, uh, to that nth degree.